Hi guys, it's Luke from Beard Tech here again. Today we have a really good, really interesting review of a product from a company called Jide, who are made up of ex-Google employees of a mini PC powered by an Android operating system. That's a mouthful, but here it is. It's the Remix Mini PC, and I got this a couple of weeks ago. I've been using it for a couple of weeks. It is incredible. So check it out now on Beard Tech. Let's see if it's any good. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. Opening the Remix Mini PC, the world's first Android computer. Let's have a look at it. I pulled Aussie in my class. This is an Aussie power connector. Yep. No. Now, don't break any of the box. Just careful with the box. Willow. Whoa! There it is. Got specifications, where everything goes, HDMI, headphone jack, Ethernet port, the dimensions, the processor. See, it's an all winner 64 bit 4 core Cortex. So that's a very stable, good processor. Hold that really tight. Yep, okay, now turn it over. Turn it over, and then lift the top. Okay, watch your fingers. Whoa! Right, here's the Remix Mini. There it is. That looks like a pebble, doesn't it? This is a computer. So let me see what's on the back. And this plugs into... No, that plugs into the power point. That's headphone jack, HDMI, TF card, so USB, fun. Ethernet. Hey guys, something so else to open! And then, yep, that's a uh, HDMI cable. And instructions. Oh. And this is a button where you press this to turn on the computer once it's all plugged in. New HDMI cable, PowerPoint. Hey, Softie! So one's, one's a power cord. Who wants to this? One's a HDMI cord. The Giant Remix Mini PC is an eye opening device and a truly memorable desktop PC experience for many, many reasons. This is Luke from Beard Tech, and today we're checking out one of the most versatile, innovative, and portable home desktop devices I've ever seen. Jide is a company created by ex-Google employees, and their Android Mini PC was developed with the help of Kickstarter backers worldwide. It is only $70, a little bit more in Australia because of our weaker dollar, and is absolutely packed with features. Let's begin. Many PCs have come a long way with a fully-fledged gaming PC now available in a USB stick format. But I got this device as a media streamer, gaming device and word processing alternative to my Linux Deepin 15.4 machine. And I'm impressed. The specs of this thing are minimalist, with an all-winner H64 chip that runs at 1.2GHz, and this is more than sufficient for what this device intends to be. It's not a gaming machine that processes videos with editing and renders 3D, it's a desktop PC alternative that can be used on TVs and monitors or projectors to stream media and make documents and check emails, but with the added bonus of running the entire Google Play Store on it as an Android OS. It's a casual user's device, and at this, it works exceptionally well. It has 16 gigabytes of internal storage, expandable with a micro SD card slot, which mine has another 16 gig available, and it has two gigabytes of DDR3 RAM inside, making it a wonderfully optimized experience. It's shaped like a pebble, is black, lightweight, at 133 grams, has a rubber ring on the bottom for feet, and sits comfortably anywhere as a centerpiece. It's a relatively modern design and makes people wonder what on earth it is. The logo sits proudly on top, and this is also a capacitive touch button for power, sleep, and restart modes quickly. The ports on the back are as follows. Two full-size USB ports for keyboard and mouse or flash drives, an Ethernet port, a headphone jack, and a 17-volt AC power port and SD card slot. HDMI out is also there. It comes with Bluetooth 4.0 also, so you can completely control it with a Bluetooth mouse, keyboard, and use Bluetooth speakers to blast out the sounds at your face. The bottom simply contains specs and manufacturing info, and that's it. The front contains one single green LED light to inform of its power status. Minimal. The meat and potatoes of the de device is the operating system. 
Giant has really done a great job of proving to the world that Android really can act as a full desktop OS with incredible features at a great price. Remix 2.0 comes with this PC, and it's a skinned and optimized version of Android Lollipop 5.1. Whilst an older version by today's standards, this is not evident anywhere on the device because the hardware is completely revamped to run smoothly, smoothly with this OS. It looks amazing and colorful and vibrant. There's an app hub, a notification center, a home button, status bar, and even right-clicking options, resizable windows, and thousands of apps that are compatible with Remix to run in windowed modes. This PC can easily double as a word processing and business center for your home, as well as become a casual gaming experience with friends and family with simple downloads from the Play Store. There's nothing like downloading a full version of WPS Office and editing a document, printing it from this machine via Bluetooth, then hopping on to play Sword of Zolan with your friends in its pixelated glory. Android works brilliantly as a PC OS. It makes the best of both worlds and it runs smoothly. One thing I have noticed though is that Netflix does not work on it, which is a huge letdown. Apparently it used to in an older Remix version, but because I've updated it, mine doesn't support it. <laughs> that makes me sad. But I got this for the other reason of being able to stream YouTube to my PC screen or projector on it, and the simple fact that millions of Play Store apps are available for use more than makes up for this flaw. The only other two quibbles are that some games simply cannot open on it. Whether this is because developers aren't optimizing them for Remix, or Remix simply cannot process some software, I've missed out on a couple of titles like Rayman Legends and Sonic Racing simply because of a lack of support for this device. But other stellar titles work perfectly fine on it, like Asphalt 8 and most other casual titles I've downloaded that aren't too resource heavy or large. So it's a matter of trial and error with these game titles. The other flaw is the speed. It is a little bit on the slow side, but if you just keep a couple of windows open and that's it, it will run perfectly fine. The settings menu brings you the most info you'll ever need about your device and you can delete apps from it. There's a memory cleaning option on the taskbar, instant access to Wi-Fi, volume and notifications, and the smart hide option works great. The home button produces the entire app list installed and gives you a power option, and a back button can be displayed on the taskbar like an Android capacitive button that you can press back to run apps. Windows can be opened at the same time as each other and resize as you wish, and the Chrome browser works an absolute treat on it, even resizing and scaling well according to window size. Everything can, everything can be minimized to the taskbar, and you can press Alt-Tab to switch between apps. Watching videos is slightly slower than a desktop, but they do work just fine and there's no lag with the internet experience. Long pressing the top of the remix brings up a sleep power reboot screen and this works wonders until you accidentally bump the button, but this is a rarity. I cannot recommend this device enough, especially for what it is. If you purchase a Bluetooth gamepad, this could be a casual gaming party machine and it's so unique for that aspect. This device really does couple as a productive, lightweight and speedy word processing and business machine whilst bringing fun and gaming from the Play Store to the desktop experience. It's a one of a kind device. Although it could be speedier and have much more storage space than 16 gig, this can all be worked around by using it for what it's designed for, a desktop PC that literally cools itself down, uses almost no power, and can do what any Android phone or tablet can do, but even more so with Remix's optimized and surprisingly unique architecture. This device can be used for kids' education, as well as a casual gaming and app consumption device. There's nothing else like it around, and I'm glad for that. I like its philosophy, innovation, and design. I give it five beards out of five. I've been Luke from Beard Tech and Breathe In Designs. You've been the audience. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to see more from me and this channel, and to comment below on your experience with Android devices like this. Have beer-tastic fun. I'll see you in the next one.